So, knowing you, David, I know that you have a particular idea about spokespeople depending on their job titles. This is true. This is true. And even their ex-job titles, yeah. you know, because if somebody used to be a techie, it doesn't matter what their job title is now, sales, marketing, rhubarb, rhubarb, boss, I like bosses too. Um, if they're ex-techies, there's a very good chance that lurking inside their current job title is a techie and a truth teller, because that's what techies are, they're truth tellers. So we are very warmly disposed to techies and ex-techies, very warmly. I have to say that now. We're also warmly disposed towards bosses, because when we write something and we quote a boss, you know, managing director of da da da, then the editor goes, oh, good old Tebo, he's spoken to somebody important. And uh, this, this helps your quote get into the story. And if your quote's in the story, there's every chance your picture will be in the story. And if you're quoting your picture in the story, there's every chance there's a good little bit of story all about you, dedicated to you. And it doesn't matter how much they cut the story this way and that, you're still in there. Now, the danger is that you might talk rubbish and we'll still quote you. So you want to be a little bit careful what you actually say to a journalist. If you, if you speak the truth and it's great and it's on message and all the rest of it, wonderful. And, and if you're off message, you're still going to get published. So that's bosses and techies. We've got levels of aversion. The, 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 the least aversion is towards salespeople because we think that salespeople know secrets. If they know secrets, we think we can get to their secrets. How do we do that? Because they're salespeople, you know, they're in control of everything. They've got barriers, they've got well, messages galore, things they use with customers. They've got every counter imaginable to every question a customer can ask. So what hope has a journalist got? Well, we appeal to their ego. We always say things like, so how's it going in your territory? And they always say, really good, or fantastic, or very well. It doesn't really matter. It will always be a positive. And the journalists will then say, so no problems at all then. And they might go, <laughs> we'll stay silent because salespeople hate silence. I mean, well, there's always one problem everywhere. Everybody's got a problem. Silence. Well, when I say one problem, I mean, actually, we've got 15. <laughs> and off they go. And the next thing you know, they're telling you all about their problems. So we appeal to their ego, their show offness, and then we use silence to get them up to one of their disclosures. That's salespeople.